Well, greetings all and shalom to you who believe. Today I think we're going to uh, speak a little about the length of hair, okay, and the hairstyle for those that uh, choose to do so. It's actually uh, laws. Uh, the Apostle Paul spoke about them, and that's where a lot of confusion has come in. And uh, I guess this here video came because I had a dream last night of myself making, uh, I made a pizza and put it in the oven and then I started making another pizza and I put down the uh, sauce and I was throwing in handfuls of mozzarella cheese and I noticed, you know, I, I mean, there, every piece of cheese there was two or three hairs, you know, from my beard, but they were only about a half inch long. And I mean, the cheese was just filled, <laughs> you know, with these hairs. I'm like, oh my word. And I started picking them out at first, and then I'm like, what am I doing, you know? This is nasty. So, anyway, I, I had wrote the dream down, sent it off to a friend of mine, and uh, she had uh, used the book to uh, define what my dream might have been about, you know, and uh, seeing where the fella had talked about. Uh, the hair in a derogatory type manner uh, and it was like it referred to here what's in 1st Corinthians 11 14 and I will read it first before we do the prayer but this is uh, basically what these things I want to speak about is talking about it says here in 1st Corinthians 11 14 does not even nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair it is a dishonor to him all right now Paul wasn't talking about what I've got here or what our king had I mean I've been growing this for oh I say six or seven years and I've never had to cut it Okay, I can barely put it up in the back, you know, get it together, keep it out of my food and, you know, out of my gravy. So, uh, this isn't what Paul was talking about, because nature itself does not teach that having long hair is a dishonor. I mean, take a look at the lions, okay? You've got the female lion, and she's got short hair. And the male lion, of course, he's got the mane, you know, which is... Uh, Everybody can tell what a male lion is just by looking at him. If you tell him that, you know, it's a dishonor for him, you're probably going to get eaten. But it's not speaking of that at all. What it's talking about today, if you look around, uh, there's a lot of Jews that are wearing these. They got their hair all cut short, but then they've got these real long locks, and they, they curl them. That's what it's talking about. It. It's also talking that a man shouldn't be braiding his hair, okay? There's nothing wrong with tying it back, you know, but braiding it and doing these things that a woman does, he shouldn't do the same way he shouldn't be wearing woman's clothing, and a woman shouldn't be wearing man's clothing. But here in 1 Corinthians 11:15 it says, But if a woman has long hair, it is a glory to her, for her hair is given her for a covering. And then it says in verse 16, But if anyone seems to be contentious, we have no such custom, okay? We have no such custom of the men wearing locks, uh, these little pulled things, you know, on the side of their heads for whatever reason they're doing it. Uh, that's the dishonor that it's speaking of, that and braiding and such. But it says, But if anyone seems to be contentious, we have no such custom nor do the assemblies of our Father. It says churches of God, but it's uh, the assemblies of our Father. Okay, now in giving these instructions, I do not praise you since you come together not for the better, but for the worse, and that's what a lot of people do. Anyway, that's where this started off was... Uh, Verse 14 of 1 Corinthians 11, Does not nature itself teach you that if a man has long hair, it is a dishonor to him? And I'm going to show you where Paul wasn't, you know, saying that what I have is a dishonor. In fact, our king had the very same hairstyle. Uh, so did all the prophets of old, the priests, the men, all had beards. You know, if they could grow it, they grew a beard. These other things are... Uh, customs of the world, uh, men shaving their faces and such, that's Egyptian and other, you know, sects and 
uh, nations where men would do such things, but the children of the Most High, they honored our Father. He has a beard, okay? Our Creator, even though He's spirit, it still says He has a beard. Our King has a beard. They have her. Most men are grown only to certain life. And it's okay. Looking at the stop at the stop sign. So, the next thing you know, they're on the way to the hospital or the morgue. Doesn't make any sense to me, Yahshua, so I pray you'll open up the minds of these that are listening, that they may hear, that your words may be made available to all those who are seeking. And may we reverence you in all things. And Yahshua, we ask these things in your name and for your name's sake. We ask that these things be done. Hallelujah. Way. All right. So here we are. You know, I am I got my, uh, this is how I look when I wake up. I, I run to brush through it, you know, so I didn't bother pulling it back. But this is what a real man looks like, okay? And I am a real man, you know, whether some would like to admit it or not. It's just the way that it is. Okay, so here is a way that a hairstyle is supposed to be kept here in Leviticus chapter 19. We'll start at verse 26. It says, You shall not eat anything with the blood, neither shall you use enchantment nor observe times. Okay, now the very next verse is going to talk about how to wear your hair, men. Okay, and you can see here that, you know, using enchantment, you know, eating blood is just above this. And it says in verse 27 of Leviticus 19, you shall not round the corners of your head. And that's how you look out in the world today and you'll see everybody with these great hairstyles, you know, where they, they round the corners of their head and they'll, they'll trim off their uh, sideburns and all these kinds of things. But it says, you shall not round the corners of your head, neither shall thou mar the corners of your beard. Now, when I trim my beard, if it needs trimming, I'll pull it up like this, and if there's a couple long strangly hairs, I'll just snip it off, okay? That's not rounding the corners, it's just, you know, cutting rid of the, you know, the, the stragglers. But I'm not going to be trimming my beard or chiseling, as some people call it. These things are not to be done. Then it says in verse 28, you shall not make any cuttings in your flesh for the dead nor print any marks upon you. Other versions will tell you that this printing marks on you is tattoos. You're not supposed to do these things. Getting a tattoo is the same thing as rounding the corners of your head or your beard. So let's take a look here in Numbers uh, uh, 
uh, 6. To show why there in uh, 1 Corinthians it was not what Paul was talking about, okay? Because if it was a dishonor for men to have long hair, I'd like to see you stand toe to toe to Samson and say, Samson, you're a pansy ass man. <laughs> I mean, it's a dishonor for you to have that long hair. Because here in number 6, verse 5, it says, All the days of the vow of his separation, and this is talking about a Nazarite vow, where you're not supposed to eat the grape or corn, these kind of things. I'm not getting into that, I'm just getting into the hairstyle. Number 6, 5, All the days of the vow of his separation, there shall no razor come upon his head, until the days be fulfilled in which he separateth himself unto the Father. He shall be holy, and shall let the locks of the hair of his head grow. Now Samuel, he was given the Nazarite vow when he was born. He never cut his hair. Okay? It only grew to a certain length. And then verse 6, here in number 6, it says, All the days that he separated himself unto the Father, he shall come at no dead body. And, uh talks about making himself unclean or whatever, but the point is he wasn't supposed to put a razor to his head. He wasn't supposed to cut his head with a Nazarite vow. Now here in uh, 2 Samuel 14, 26, it's talking about Absalom. Now Absalom is an exception to the rule. He's one that uh, his hair would grow like a woman's, basically. You know, and I'm not saying Absalom was a woman. I'm just saying that sometimes a man will have the trait where his beard, you know, you've seen some of these, you know, in the uh, Asian movies or something, you know, you got this Chinese uh, martial artist and he's got his beard down to the ground. Well, there's nothing wrong with that either, you know, except I don't. I don't appreciate tripping over mine. I know I used to trim my mustache, but when I was put in jail and starved for 44 days, I let it grow out because I wasn't eating. It used to be I'd bite into a sandwich and my hair would get caught under my teeth and I'd pull my nose down around my chin and it hurt. So I used to trim it, but I don't even trim that anymore because it, it says not to round uh, the corners. Anyway, Absalom here in uh, 2 Samuel 14, 26. And when he pulled his head, okay, he pulled his head. He just, they cut it right off there, you know, probably about the shoulder length for him. And uh, when he had pulled his head, for it was at every year's end. So he did this once a year. He had to. I mean, this poor guy was probably getting headaches and such because, you know, it says, and when he pulled his head, for it was at every year's end that he pulled it because the hair was heavy on him therefore he pulled it see it showed why and there's an exception to the rule if your hair gets way too long it's okay to pull it and it's okay for a woman to pull her hair too but she should have long hair it's her glory it makes a woman really beautiful and special and it says he weighed the hair of his head at 200 shekels after the king's weight Okay, so that was pretty heavy. Now, the last scripture I want to bring out is why, you know, a lot of men say, oh, well, it's okay to shave. I just shave because everyone shaves. And yes, everyone does, you know, for the most part. All the world does. All the, the warlocks out there, for the most part, does. Uh, you know, drag queens. A lot of people shave. A lot of men shave. There are some women that shave too, you know, because they grow a beard and my aunt had a mustache better than mine, I think. But beside that point, here we got King David, this uh, fella Hunan, the son of Nahash. And this is uh, 2 Samuel 10 verse 2 we're going to start at. But there was a king that died and David was sending emissaries over there to console the new king. And it said, David said, I will show kindness to Hunan, the son of Nahash, as his father showed kindness to me. So David sent by the hand of his servant to comfort him concerning his father. And David's servants came into the land of the people of Ammon. And the princes to the people of Ammon said to Hunan, their lord, Do you think that David really honors your father because he sent comforters to you? Is David not rather sent his servants to you to search the city, to spy it out, and to overthrow it? 
Therefore Hunan took David's servants. This is 2 Samuel 10.4. Now watch what goes on here, and you'll see they're shaving the beard, you know, except for the end of a Nazarite vow, or if you become unclean, say you was uh, leprous or whatever, then you would shave all your hair, armpits, everything, man. You'd have no hair left on you. This is the way that a haircut is actually supposed to be done, other than what Absalom did when he pulled it here and there, okay? But here it shows, it says, Therefore Hunan took David's servants, shaved off half of their beards, shaved off half the beard, cut off their garments in the middle at their buttocks, and sent them away. So their butts was hanging out when they left, and they only had half a beard. Okay, so what's David do? He says here in verse 5 of 2 Samuel 10, When they told David, he sent to meet them, because the men were greatly ashamed. Well, yeah, I'd be ashamed too, you know, go there to console some fella, you know, just made king and, you know, get my clothes cut off to where my butt's hanging out and half a beard gone, you know, I'd be a little ashamed too. And the king said, wait at Jericho until your beards have grown. He didn't say, shave them off and come see me. He said, you wait there, Jericho, and let the beard grow back out and then return. Okay, so that's something that men should consider. It doesn't say to shave your beard anywhere except at the end of a Nazarite vow or if you've had some uncleanness that called for that, that all your hair be shaved off, you're not supposed to do these things. But if you do, you know that's between you and our king. Uh, I'm not a, a 60s reject, okay? That's not why I have my hairstyle this way. I do it in honor of our king. The same way as my bride will grow her hair, and she does. She's got beautiful hair. It's her honor. You know, it's her glory. That's what it is. It's her glory, and she wears it well, just like many women across this planet do as well. Please, consider these little laws. They're actually big laws, okay? In fact, there was a war that took place because of the men having half their beard shaved. It's a, it's a very dishonorable thing to be messing with people's hair. You know, we shouldn't have barber shops. I'll tell you that. Okay, so with that, I just wanted to say... Peace be to y'all. Please consider these things. Pray about it. I know a lot of you out there with jobs and such, you know, uh, they don't allow it. If you got your own business, though, I would highly recommend that you do so. Uh, let your hair grow. It's natural, man. You know, and, and what Paul was saying had absolutely nothing to do with the laws here. He was talking about those with the little curly cues that pulled their heads. You know, they rounded the corners of their heads and their beards and such. And, and Paul was saying, nature itself shows you it's a dishonor. Yes, the lions have long hair. It grows naturally. It only grows so long. That's not long hair. Okay, long hair is the polling and such. You know, the little, the little locks or whatever and braiding and such. There's nothing wrong with pulling your hair back and, you know, putting it in a rubber band or a you know, some kind of tie back or something, you know, but you don't want to use little pretty bows and stuff, fellas, okay, uh, these things, you know, just a piece of rawhide or something, tie that sucker back if it gets in your vittles, you know, and, and you'll be fine, so let's consider these things, and until we meet again, I say bye to all of you, and shalom to all of you who believe. May our King be glorified and honored that our Father may be honored and glorified through His Son.